here participants of the Collins Conference. Let me present my research devoted to translation of emotion metaphors from English into Ukrainian. Translation from one language to another might be difficult because of distinctions in the source and target languages affected by cultural variations. And one of the most challenging tasks is to translate a metaphor. A figure of speech characterized by the rich diversity across and within culture. This research paper aims to examine how metaphors function in English and Ukrainian and what concepts they embed. It is devoted to the study of emotion metaphor translation based on the parallel corpus of fiction. Because the analysis of large volumes of data, text data, allow us to make clear conclusions about the main metaphorical source domains of the analyzed text and the specifics of their translation. In our research, we focus on the application of the parasol parallel corpora. First, we outline and collide the metaphorical source domains of basic emotion metaphors. Then we analyze differences between emotion metaphors function in Ukrainian and British fiction and specifics of their translation. Moreover, we compare main metaphorical source domains of the emotion metaphors. But Let's come back to some theoretical background. Covers that says that emotion concepts are composed of several parts. So, uh, metaphors, metonymies, related concepts, and cultural models. In contrast, Ledoux uh, bases claims on and satisfactory kind of linguistics, in which emotion language consists only in literal emotion words such as fear, anxiety, and that classifies as a reference to a pre-existing emotional reality, the brain state and the body response. And not only Ledieu, but lots of scholars and linguists dealing with emotion language suggest that this language simply consists of a few words. Mm, of course, speakers of some languages appear to feel that some of the emotion words are more basic than the others, and it can be outlined that there are six universal emotions, happiness, anger, fear, sadness, surprise, and disgust, uh, and they are accompanied and can be distinguished by universal facial expressions and physiological reactions. But different methods can be used to prove a corpus for a figurative expression used to talk about emotion in a given language. One opinion is to focus on specific emotion words and of the domain under security. For example, the study of the domain of anger in English, uh, one may select words like anger, fury, indignation, frustration, and so on. And one, the target words are identified, we can resort from the corpus of the sentences in which those words are employed. And this usually involves numbers to hard manual inspection. But a typical approach is to analyze 100 of them randomly selected from a full list. And our research consists of the third stages. In the initial stage of the process, we are to apply to parcel or for a group as a study. The research material consists of text abstracts containing emotion metaphors. While selecting the sentences, we take into consideration the research and the results for basic metaphorical expressions the main function in the English language. In general, the amount of sample is 200 uh, abstracts. And when the metaphors are outlined, we have to collect them and form a sample, taking into consideration the text in English and its translation into Ukrainian provided. And as soon as those steps have been carried out, the specifics of the metaphor translation into Ukrainian are under study. We are to analyze the translation and apply the main metaphorical expression domains of the emotion metaphors in English and British fiction. And here you can see the parasol interface. Parasol includes 
morphous syntactic and other linguistic annotations such as lemmatization for many languages would give us additional opportunities. And here is the corpus built for the Lao query. Firstly, we make a corpus for each of the basic metaphors of emotion. Thus, we get results for anger, sadness, fear, happiness, disgust, surprise, and love emotions. The first concept taken into consideration is anger. Lakoff and Jensen claim that anger is a heat of a fluid in a container, and this is a central metaphor in the conceptualization of anger. In the data collected, we find the following expressions illustrating this conceptual metaphor. Analyzing the examples given, we can outline that in the first sentence, the word erupting, describing anger breaking out suddenly and dramatically, was omitted and not interpreted in the Ukrainian translation. Thus, the delight and strategy of metaphor translation was used. As for the second sentence, we see that the original text and the translation provided are quite different. If in the English text we know that anger fills the heart, in Ukrainian the heart is meant to be filled by an angry man himself. And the next emotion metaphors we are to discuss is fear. Self as a container metaphorical expression is represented in the sentence of line and reproducing the same image in the target language strategy was used in this example because a strach in Ukrainian literally means gripped by fear in English and also function as a metaphor. To outline the metaphors needed, we have also taken into consideration the following sadness metaphor. The sentence given is an example of the metaphorical expression domain of sadness as a fluid. And the translation provided has personification. What is in particular a form of metaphor? And the last word with negative meaning we're at to discuss is disgust. Although disgust is commonly classified as one of the basic human emotions, it has received relatively little attention from linguists in comparison to other emotions. And metaphorical expression disgust as a fluid is used in this example. The translation provided also represents the disgust as a fluid dropping, the kapuch in Ukrainian, and being an AC. As a translation strategy, the image reproduction strategy is used here. And considering the examples of metaphors with positive meaning, here we are to begin with the ones uh, the happiness metaphor. As we observe the metaphorical expression, best in happiness was used to express happiness being a fluid in which somebody or something can be best like it is water. And in the translation given, replacing the same image in the source language with the standard target language image strategy is used. The Ukrainian of Radistu is a metaphorical expression frequently used in fiction. And the most frequently used metaphor in the corpus form is it to be in Lao. Uh, still again, this is an example of emotion represented as a container. And in Ukrainian, it's usually translated as the kohati sevu. And the last emotion used in the research is the one of surprise. The language and metaphors of surprise were studied by Kendrick Murdoch, and in the sample collected, the most frequent domain was a surprise as a natural force. In the translation provided, the metaphorical expression is omitted. But nevertheless, the sense is saved in the translation, and so converting a metaphor to its sense strategy was used here. In general, to sum up, the analysis of the sample showed that surprise is the least metaphorically comprehended concept in the least outline in our sample. And surprise is not a socially very complex phenomenon, 
and this is not a great amount of conceptual content to be associated with. And also, the discussed emotion has also received relatively little attention from linguists. For what was the concept of love and contrast is perhaps the most highly metaphorized emotional concept and the most frequently outlined domain in the sample is emotion as a container and emotion as a fluid in a container. Considering the strategies of metaphorical expression translation, we're producing the same image in the target language strategy was used in most cases. The main domains of emotion metaphors were usually saved or interpreted within the metaphors representing the same in the Ukrainian language. Only in a few sentences, the strategy of omission was applied and no equivalent was used. I hope that the obtained results and conclusions will contribute to the understanding of emotional metaphors domain in English and their translation into Ukrainian. And for now, thank you for your attention.